and welcome back to my channel and happy new year to 2023 oh my gosh january 1 cannot believe it so the theme for this is going to be how to kill a kit with style and sarah that runs this program or runs this hop decided to have themes for each month and so the theme was for january which I will link um, all of that information down below and all of that fun stuff everywhere else. And what we are going to be doing for the month of January is like that coffee theme. Now, here's my thing. You can treat that theme as anything you can. Well, what I am planning on doing is, is that and taking it more that creamish brownish look and pulling out this collection that I've been using. Now, I have been, I pulled in throughout the month of December, I have been trying to kill this kit and I actually had to purchase some more of this kit so that I could get through because I am still finishing up my December documented series. I would have been done by now. However, last year if you haven't been following me over there welcome i'd love to have you hit that like and subscribe button um we actually my husband and i went on a trip because he um just got back from kuwait and the one thing that we've always done is you do this trip of some sort um, after you get back just to kind of get used to it. So this is this trip and then I do have December documented left. So as of right now, I am planning on focusing on these photos with this kit and then hopefully these here will connect and get rid of all of this. And then I'm going to focus the rest of the month on the rest of that December. So we'll see. So I've got two collections of the warm wishes from... Vicky Booten, this is two years ago. So I've got quite a bit left there um, for that. And then I do have two sets of the puffy stickers. I have this collection that's from Comfort, which is a crepe paper collection. I do have a little bit of one set, and then I've got another full set in there. And this is the Merry and Bright section. I do have all of this. Now this is where the cream comes in. There's a lot of browns and muted tones throughout this that I am going to use within. So that's how I'm bringing the browns, kind of the creamish brownish color into um, this collection. And then I do have the Four Seasons Winter Collection from Close to My Heart that I'm bringing in because I don't have very many papers left from the Vicky Booten. So I do have these two stickers left. I have... Um, couple of this paper left that I'm trying to use up. I have this paper left, which is the, the cream, the creamy color tones. I'm using coffee as you can, you know, you make coffee as light as possible. So it's like a tannish color. So I have that color left. I have this brown color that's left in here. Actually, I think I got two of that left. And then I've got the couple of the reds and then this green. Oh, here's some more paper scraps. Okay, and then I do have this one, which is the foiling sheet. It's sh the champagne gold type color. And then I have this one that's left over. I have two of these. And here are the cream colors coming in. And then I do have this. There's the cream in here, and I've got two of those. There's the cream. This is supposed to look like greenish, but you could actually tone it into brown. And then there's some more browns in there. And then there's the green on the back of that. Um, I have these two. 
And then I did get the the paper kit. I have oh I could get rid of this piece here. Alright. And then I've got one more of this green with that. And then I do have the stockings. And then that green is left over. I was going to use this on a layout and then I changed my mind. So I do have this paper left. Obviously, it's the greens and whatnot on there. And here are some scraps that are left over. Um, some of it is from the 6x6. See, I've already gone through the 6x6 because back when I got this kit, um, when it was available two years ago, I went in with um, Fran and purchased half of it so I got like half of this half of the the paper kit or the paper the the paper pad and went that route so with that being said that is the paper side of it in like some of the stickers let me put this in here so I can put these all together and then um essentially I have, when I film this, I am going to be using it on one layout, but um, if I, if you click on my December documented series um, play list, you will see that I've been using this collection all the month. It's like the theme, and I've never really done a theme before where I use the same collection, but I do have these, which is just my green stuff I just like using them it's all my Christmas ones that's in there and then this is the embellishments I've got left there's some of the brown cream colored ones and then I do have my mist I've got these out I do have these two out they kind of go in with everything if I choose to use them and then the four Distress Oxides that match this collection really well is Distress Oxide Salvage Panetta, Distress Oxide Rust Rustic Wilderness, the Spun Sh Sugar, and then the new one that just came out, which is Lumberjack Plaid. So those are what I'm going to be using for my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I hope that um, all of this will be a lot of fun for it to go i know that we're in january y'all are probably sick of this but i want to finish these up so i don't have to worry about them and i can focus on whatever comes around next year i like to be done with things so this is a really good thing so make sure you go check out everybody um the next i would say all of my layouts that i will have at least into the first part of this month will be something to do with this kit because like i said i like to be done with december documented of la you know like how I scrapbook a year behind so this is um 2020 or 20 2021's um Christmas and um I just like to be able to knock it out and be done and then at the end of the month I will show you um I'll go through my book in my album and I'll go through it and show you everything that we have done for that collection I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.